so Father Rod, if I haven't had a healthy or well-structured first stage, um, there is an impact of that. How do I develop my spirituality notwithstanding? I guess the, the sad reality is that most people don't have a perfect first stage. Uh, very few. And in fact, if they, they have had the dream run in the, um, in, in the, uh, the first stage, that uh, you get the perfect job, you marry the perfect person, you have the perfect children, um, that in itself uh, doesn't necessarily enable the journey all that well um, because it doesn't involve too much uh, testing, mm. too much mm. pain, mm. Uh, uh, too much need for self-reflection. I think we bring, uh, we bring the journey we have. That's mm. the only journey we can bring. Uh, sure, some people have way too much uh, container and not enough contents. Uh, some people have uh, way not enough container uh, and sometimes too much contents. The way as we approach our second stage of life and we, we, we kind of get a bit of an inkling uh, that this is coming. Uh, we, we start to be less interested in some of the things that have been really important to us. Um, our priorities start to change. We start to ask perhaps some, some deeper life questions uh, in, in what's, um, for instance, what, um, what's really important to me now? Mm. What, um, uh, what really means something to me now? However those questions are formed, mm. we, we start to ask them. And so I think we have to bring whatever journey we have, um, whether it, uh, we've formed that container uh, well and clearly or not. And we have to um, reflect upon that mm -hmm. and find out what it has meant for our journey. Mm -hmm. um, and it can be helpful to, to, to go away on um, you know, some form of retreat, mm -hmm. uh, whether it be a, a, a religious uh, or a secular retreat. Um, to uh, to think back over our story and to find meaning in that. It's when we when we found the meaning in that story, um, and one of the best ways to find meaning in our story uh, is to place ours uh, with all its ups and downs and, and brokenness and um, and false starts and all of those things. Uh, when we place our our story into a greater story. Uh, for uh, in the Judeo-Christian tradition, of course, we have the, the biblical narrative, the story of the people. When we place our story into that story, uh, we also have uh, you know some of the great classical stories. Uh, they uh, they are great narratives in which we can come to find meaning. Uh, and so uh, the important part of seeking to enter the second half is to understand our stories in the context of the great. Uh, and it is, it is when we've done that, even if we've had a, 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 a less than formative journey thus far, we're able to use the, the form of the greatest uh, to help us move into the second stage.